Hey guys, it's Connor, and today we're gonna to talk about LUTs and specifically how to combine multiple LUT files into a single LUT. If you're wondering why you would wanna do this, there's actually some really practical use cases for it. The first is if you have a LUT that only affects contrast, like maybe something that emulates a film curve, and a LUT that only affects color, maybe a teal and orange LUT. You can combine those into one and have a more filmic teal and orange look. Secondly, if you shoot in any sort of flat profile, you probably have a camera or monitor that can load a transformation LUT to give you a better idea of what the final image is gonna look like. We can actually take that a step further and combine that transformation LUT with a stylized color grade LUT so that we can see what the final grade might look like even when we're shooting on set. Lastly, if you already have a LUT that you'd like a lot, but you wanna make some minor adjustments to, you can use this process to achieve that as well. To do this, you're gonna need DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna leave a link for the free version in the description because you don't actually need the paid version to access any of these features. Start by opening up a fresh project and then import some footage into DaVinci Resolve. It doesn't matter what you import, but we can't access the tools that we need until we import footage and add it to a timeline. You can go up to File, Import, and then Media, and I'm just gonna bring this picture into the project. Go ahead and drag your media down to this window so we can create a timeline to work with. Then head over to the color tab where we're gonna do all the real work. Before we can combine any of our LUTs, we need to make sure that Resolve can actually find them. In the top left corner, we have our LUT menu. You can right click on any of these folders and click open file location. We're just gonna go up one folder from here to access the master LUT folder. And now you can either drop all your LUTs in here or you can create a new folder if you wanna keep everything organized. Once that's done, you can go and right click Click the LUTs folder and click refresh and it'll update this list to contain all of your new LUTs. Keep in mind that the order of these LUTs and the order of these nodes is important in some cases. For example, if you do want to combine a Rec 709 transformation LUT with a creative LUT, you got to make sure the transformation comes first and then the color grade is applied and not the other way around. If it's just two creative LUTs, that's fine, but you should still generally go with whatever's gonna make your contrast adjustments first and then color adjustments second. To add my first LUT, I'm gonna right click this node here, go down to LUT, and I'm gonna pick the one I want. I shot this with a Blackmagic camera, so I'm just gonna make sure I pick the right one. Gen 5 film to extended video. And there's the first LUT. To add a second node, we can go up here, right click this green tab, then we're gonna go to add node and add serial. Now from here, you've got multiple options. I can either add another LUT onto this new node, you can do as many nodes and as many LUTs as you want, or if you prefer, you can not add anything and just make some tweaks using the tools in DaVinci Resolve as well. Let's say that I wanna add a film emulation on top of that. So I'm gonna take this Kodak 2383 look and I'm gonna slap this on my second node. In the preview window, you can see what those two LUTs combined actually looks like. If that's all you need, you're good to go, but in this case, it clearly doesn't look good. So remember, you can still make changes to all this stuff before you export, and that's what I'm gonna do here. On the second note, I'm just gonna go to our key, and I'm just gonna bring down the output of this so that we're just bringing a little bit of that flavor in and not much more. Once you've got everything to your liking, we're just gonna right click on the thumbnail here, go to generate LUT, and now you can export it. If you don't know what any of these numbers mean in terms of 33 points and how many points you need, just go with a 33 point cube LUT. That is plenty for most applications. You can save that wherever you like on your computer and now you have multiple LUTs combined into one along with any other tweaks that you wanted to make. This opens up a lot of cool possibilities. So if you think of another way that this could be used, let me know, I'd love to hear it. And if you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate you helping me back by liking and subscribing, all that stuff that you're already familiar with. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.